Andrew Vioerman last update at 16.36, the 27th of April 2018 Hagen Hopkins, Getty Images Auckland City coach Ramon Triviliatex is chasing an 8th OFC Champion League title in a row. Hagen Hopkins, Getty Images Team Wellington's Nati Hylamariam and Auckland City's Reed Drake did battle plenty in the first leg. Hagen Hopkins, Getty Images Team Wellington coach Jose Figuera is expecting Auckland City to revert to their normal lineup on Sunday. Football come the end of Sunday's OFC Champions League semi-final, something will have separated Auckland City and Team Wellington, but it's hard to see what it will be. The home and away tie is locked at 0-0 after the first leg, played at David Farrington Park in the capital last Sunday, leaving all to play for in the second leg, at Kiwi Tia Street in Auckland, kick off 12.30pm, the winner will be the favourite in the two-legged final, where a place at December's Club World Cup will be at stake these two teams have been evenly matched over the past three months, producing a pair of 0-0 draws, the other in the National League's regular season, and a 1-0, City win, in the National League final. Another tight match is expected on Sunday, and it wouldn't be a great surprise if the score remains 0-0 come the end of full time, then extra time, which would mean a penalty shootout. Redmore, asterisk semi-final in the balance asterisk deja vu all over again asterisk NC duo to meet in semi-finals asterisk bright primed for Champions League the first bit of intrigue will be in how City line up as they continue to chase their eighth continental title in a row, coach Ramon Triviliatex opted for a change last Sunday, placing usual midfielder Reed Drake at left back, with usual left back Dan Morgan operating slightly further up the field. Tribuliatex said on Friday the move was made to try to help City play out from the back better, in the face of Team Wellington's high press, it did work at times, but other times it didn't. Team Wellington coach Jose Figuera said he felt his team adjusted well to the challenge in front of them, as they finished with more possession and more shots on target than either of the team's previous two meetings. It has sort of caught us off guard slightly in the first 5 to 10 minutes, but the boys showed really good tactical flexibility to ensure we stuck to our plan and pressed them properly, and tried to hurt them where we could with the ball. Add feedback, I'm expecting them to go back to their more traditional shape, playing at home in front of their fans, doing what they want to do in terms of playing with the ball. We saw last week what the shape they did employ, they defended with 5 and 2 in front for the majority of the game, which made things difficult. While we're planning for them to revert back to their usual shape, we're more than prepared for any other unexpected things that might pop up. Having kept City out at home, Team Wellington can now benefit from scoring an away goal or two this Sunday. They will advance if the result is a score draw, so if they score once, City will need to score twice, and so on. The catch is that that means getting the ball past City's Spanish keeper in Ozuba Karai, who hasn't conceded in his past 15 matches in all competitions, and for 1,368 minutes in total. Team Wellington keeper Scott DeSolage was also in fine form last Sunday, making two crucial stops, and it seems it will require something special for either side to break the deadlock, or a momentary defensive lapse. The one goal either side has scored in their past three matches came when City attacker Callum McCapp was allowed just a fraction too much space by his Wellington marker during a three-on-three break. The margins are that fine. Marist of the Solomon Islands host Lauduka of Fiji at Lawson Thomas Stadium in Honiara in the second leg of the other semi-final later on Sunday, having managed a 1-1 draw away in the first leg last weekend. OFC Champions League, semi-finals, second leg both New Zealand time. Sunday, April 29, 12.30 p.m., Auckland City v Team Wellington, Kiwi Tia Street, Auckland, 0-0 on aggregate. Sunday, April 29, 3.30 p.m., Marist v Lotoka, Lawson Thomas Stadium, Honiara, 1-1 on aggregate, stuff.